this could be why editing a preset or playing a preset doesn't work like you think or like I think it should. So that's from the uh, operation manual for the EMU MP7. Uh, I'm just going to sort of bring that into focus because that's where we'll be heading. Leave that down there so I can cheat and see that while I'm doing this. Right, I'm just focusing again. Hope we can see that clear. Um, I'll press global. Let's remove that. And here we are. There we go. That's the kit working. Okay, so one question that was asked on the uh, Facebook um, group for the command station was when you edit in grid mode, so let's go there now I'm on, at the moment I'm on uh, pattern blank and preset, I've just chosen a kit let's go back to pattern record once goes to real time, second time goes to grid and in grid recording you can um, use these buttons for when the uh, sounds come on see them reflected here on the screen at the moment we've got a velocity of zero let's change oh, how do we go back to the velocity there we go oh we've got gate there we go so you can use these to trigger the notes let's have a look at that I think if I go back to there which is the note I think there's some notes already recorded in here maybe not oh there's some right so that is G2 let's have a listen right so I can knock them off there so now although the sequence is playing it's only playing so far oh I must mention this as well on pattern the length is one so it's one bar starting at bar one um, measure one so you, ca you can change the length however when you go into the grid this here is one bar shown at the time and by that I mean if I put that on there and press play you can hear it really really quiet yep I can increase the velocity by going with the cursor underneath it and that's loud yeah or quieten it down now an easy way to do it is to use these here so I can do this and then obviously the different velocities um, each one corresponds one two three four so it's fifth one one two three four fifth one Yeah. Now, sometimes when you alter these, it doesn't change the sound. The velocities don't seem to do anything, and that's one of the 
things I want to look at because going back to this uh, little diagram um, that's there, if you can see that you've got Shall I use a pen? I use a pen as a pointer. I've got a proper professional pen pointer. This is real rocket science. Um, you have in one layer, bearing in mind the uh, preset, if I go to preset, um, go to the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is use these to go to name and then um, move one forward to instrument so you've got layer one two three four so there's only an instrument a layer one so we're just working with one layer um, so in one layer you've got a percussion instrument or an instrument a filter uh, an amp um, and pan Ooh. It zoomed in, brilliant. Um, yeah, so with that, oh, that's great. Right? Look, I can zoom in. You can also alter the different parts of one layer because it's not just this. Let's go to bookmarks. Let's go to bookmarks. Uh, you've also got this is for each of the layers. The instrument filter, the uh, amplifier, and the pan settings, other settings as well, um, other bookmarks. Where's the other picture? There it is. You've got these patch chords, which can do lots of things, and then you've got preset chords as well which do lots of things there's lots of things that can do lots of things and that is the point when you've got your instrument and your filter and your amplifier and your pan setting it says here in troubleshooting for preset programming different parameters it talks about attack and release but it's all sorts um, and the solution usually simple but not always other patch chords are connecting something and affecting it yeah and as it says learning to play an instrument takes a little patience and practice now how does that work out here to what we're doing with for example the velocity on this uh, instrument. Let's go back to grid record. So each of these is playing. If I want to on... Um, oh by the way, sorry I should have said this before. So we're on pattern at the moment, pattern view. T1 means track 1 and you've got your other tracks up to your 16. And then you've got K which is your keyboard key so G2 uh, which one's G2 would transpose right down that's C1 C2 I'm just transposing up here so it's C2 there we go so that's G2 yep so each pad is your drum kit noise for want of a better way of saying it I'm just going to transpose to a kick yeah, so if you want the kick drum to be in you find the noise or if you know the noise you can alter it using this wheel which is just your data entry wheel yeah so we'll start with that one press play yeah, we've got the sound, the C1 sound. Let's try that one.
so we got that going. Yeah, now you can as well. Um, so I've just changed instrument there. So yeah. so on that now's in there but remember that's the pattern if we go to the preset in this that's in this kit and go to preset edit there are various things that will affect how those notes play inside the settings so a classic one is filter for example normally a filter when you play and fiddle around with this one in preset view yeah so that does something with the filter yeah so if we play the sequence Yeah, so they're the MIDI controllers. However, they're not necessarily set to the same thing for the same patch. Yeah. So, by that I mean, go to preset edit, and if you skip forward to filter, there, currently the filter that's selected for layer one about all the layers is this swept two to one octave so if we play and then change that filter type um, obviously we're going to get a different f noise but here's the thing if the filter's off for example you can fiddle about these all you want and the filter will not be affected so I'll just turn it down slightly because it's a bit loud yeah so they're not doing anything now that is because that's affecting something else so it can begin to get a bit confusing dependent upon what settings are in the preset so if we go now to preset again uh, editing not just the filter but we're going to see what these controllers are doing inside the patch go down here where it says chord that's just like a shortcut to it you can get there as well by scrolling through I just find it easier to use the shortcut Patch chords are where it is at. Let's have a look, see if we can have a look at there we go. So patch chords is the thing we're looking at now. And just like in a modular synthesizer, it connects something to something else. A modulation source, an altering thing to a thing that can be altered. <laughs> that makes sense by the way um, I'm only a beginner uh, I, I'm, I'm not brilliant at understanding a lot of things here um, so what I would say is um, learn stuff uh, and just I'm just faffed about on the iPad because I lost me page there we go um, let's have a, a learn about these little look together um, so preset name 
I've just gone the wrong place. Do lots of mistakes. Go to chords. That's where we were. I need to move that flashing cursor over there to one. Right. So at the moment it says velocity, and that symbol, which is a greater than, is it? Was it less than? Um, amp. I don't know. I'll have to look in the manual. Uh, affects the amp volume by zero. Interesting. Patch cut to foot switch. I haven't got one at the moment. MIDI F is VMDK. I'd have to look in the manual what that is. Uh, F, that's that one there. So let's have a faff with that one. So that doesn't seem to do anything. If we go to filter and change filter to there and then try again F I can't tell if it's doing anything see I've altered something and nothing's happened because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and that's the point really because if we're going to go to edit here sorry wrong way grid edit here and then expect these to change velocities and it to have an effect there must be a velocity setting in uh, let's just get rid of the filter velocity chords uh, there must be a velocity setting set up here so MIDI A is filter frequency plus 100 MIDI B filter resonance that's pretty standard MIDI I is see one amount I can't remember what that means <laughs> Right, so here, filter envelope to filter frequency. Right, so if I alter that, take that to there. Let's see what happens. Sorry. I've just disabled the filter, haven't I? So it's obviously not going to work. <laughs> Unless I put the filter back on. There we go. So that's filter right down. That's filter right open. What we can hear is moving about the filter. So back to chords now. Turn this down. And go minus. Is that doing anything? I don't know. Let's go here. That's done something. So that's the filter envelope plus is affecting is a modulation source for the filter frequency to minus 100 thing I want to look for if I turn that off in fact it, if I do that if I turn off uh, a lot of what these are that I don't understand they're doing I don't know what that means for example turn that off still doing that weird thing in the background so let's see if we can find that 
Ja, Crafton, that's what I'll do. I'll just um, sit with the manual, look at what it says, and try and understand what it's talking about. G H I is the CO1 amount. I've no idea what that means. Um, filter frequency, that's off. Pitch. N pitch N pitch minus thirty-eight. So because it's minus thirty-eight, when you turn it up it goes down. So we could always alter that. That's interesting noise for me anyway. So I'm going to go to Tempo, Edit, and turn Tempo right down. Interesting. Turn that pitch back to normal. I assume... Oh, sorry, you see I was altering that because I've still got that on Edit. Leave it on 50, take it off, edit, and now it'll affect that. So I'll take that up to 100 when I turn it up. Right, well that's really high now. But of course you can also alter it a little bit. by that drum kit noise. Um, so, what else? Envelope, velocity, is that velocity? Volume, volume, envelope, attack, is midi E. Volume, envelope, attack. Right, okay. So in other words, as you turn that up, the envelope attack speed goes down because it's minus, which means it takes longer for the note noise to build up. I think, is that right? Uh, yeah, so that's great. Um, volume envelope release is H. Yeah, see twelve. Ah, that's what it might mean. Then yes, of course, I remember now. C twelve amount means. See, have you got patch chord eleven there? Chord eleven. Well, chord eleven affects C twelve amount. Right. So, in other words, MIDI K. J K. Let's have a listen. That's the speed. Right, so another interesting effect there that's handy for creating voices and may have a bearing on the velocity if. Uh, it's programmed in. Um, patch code 12 uses the LFO, LFO 2, full range plus, full range minus, uh, to alter the filter frequency and the amount it alters the filter frequency is variable according to what 
this is set at so its effect is greater or lesser depending on where this is set and of course you can flip that issue the other way around as well so what happens if I change that while it's playing so maximum effect So that sounds like it's pushing it more open and that's keeping it closed. So it looks like having a zero means it oscillates around a, a mean level, it goes up and down. Now you can also alter LFO 2 to be just plus yeah, as well. So I wonder what difference that makes. This keeps it positive. So we could offset that by going negative, could we? Right. So I assume L. Well, I mean, these are hard printed on LFO2 amount and LFO2 rate. However, you can alter that. Let's go to patch code number 13. So, fair enough. MIDI L, LFO2 rate. And it alters it by an amount of 12. Oh, there is in the manual, uh, I'm not sure if I better find it quickly, but there is in the manual a, a page at the back where it shows you how much um, of an effect f for notes etc the amount is um, uh, is patch code amount as a chart along with stuff like um, the velocity curves which is always exciting to have a look at so we go to bed and uh, there the patch code amount so one semitone patch code amount of three so roughly it's saying there isn't it which is interesting if you want to uh, use it to transpose up and down or alter frequencies gosh complicated yes very <laughs> certainly for my head um, What else can we do with this then? I'm just wondering about... Um, yeah, the other thing that can affect whether or not the volume velocity is affected is the envelopes, because you have... This one's for the filter, but you also have um, an envelope which is an auxiliary envelope you can set to something else. So, as with other envelopes, you get a difference in the way the sound is generated when you alter those. In fact, that's another thing we could perhaps have a quick check at. Let's go to um, instrument key. Then we need to get to volume envelope. Right, so this is time based at the moment so it's independent of the tempo just time based so if we do that at the moment like that then if I alter that to factory is there a difference? And then I'll do it to tempo based. Definitely a difference there, isn't there? Wonder if I increase the tempo. And then change.
maybe that'll be more um, easily identifiable on a different sound. Um, well, gosh, we're half an hour. Flipping out, how did this get to half an hour? Uh, <laughs> right, I'll leave it there. Um, so if when you're doing grid recording, <laughs> going back to what we were doing, pattern mode, grid recording, and these velocities aren't changing the sounds of the preset, it may be because there's a setting in the preset as regards the um, volume envelope because at the moment that's used in factory um, or the velocity information where's the velocity information filter envelope auxiliary envelope in the patch cards so have a look through the patch cards see if there's anything with the uh, velocity here and that might be why it's not doing what you expect it to do oh another thing as well uh, when when it's playing this is just a tip when it's playing obviously you go back to just play mode if you take it off record well to get back into real time record is fine just press that and it, but you can't get into grid without um, you know stopping it putting it into record and then pressing play again but you can if you quickly as long as you're in as long as you're on version 2 of the operating system um, whilst it's playing if you just quickly hold play and press record it takes you into grid mode hmm, maybe I should have showed you that at the beginning <laughs> anyway enjoy I'm just going to um, change the preset I think yeah that's more like um, don't know what that's doing Play for a bit, don't mind me. Oh. 